America, we're more like a fire company. When the call for service came, you would never ask, who asked me to do it? Whose house is on fire? Is it a Republican or a Democrat? Is it a liberal or a conservative? When the television caught fire and put the rest of the house on fire, were they watching Fox News or MSNBC? What church or synagogue do they go to? Where were their parents born? Do they have a vowel at the end of their last name? Is there a crucifix in their living room or a Quran? No one in the fire service ever asks that question. The only question you ever ask is, where is the fire? How quickly can and safely can I get there? And what needs to be done when I get there? There's no priority that says you rescue the Catholics first or the Democrats last. I hope not. <laughs> There's no pecking order that says, well, we're not going to get to her house in quite as often because we don't like the letter the editor she just wrote, maybe about us, in the newspaper last week. The only question firefighters ever ask is, what's the best I can do to achieve the best result? And if America were more like a fire company, instead of arguing about what kind of fire it was or what kind of equipment we might use to bring to bear the fire ground or which lesson we learned in the training academy was the best one, instead of arguing all day about what to do about the fire, we'd actually put the fire out. And I think that's a lesson we could all learn from the work that you do. You, in my judgment, represent the very, very best of this country. Tonight in this room, there are people who worship on Friday or Saturday or Sunday or in their own way or not at all. There are people whose parents came from every continent on the face of the earth. Some came on the Mayflower hundreds of years ago. Others drive Mayflower moving vans the way my family has. Some people are Republicans, some are Democrats, some are independents, some are liberals, some are conservatives. People see the world in different ways. But there is a greater good and a higher cause that unites the brotherhood and sisterhood of the fire service. And it is the word service. It is more than a word, it is an ethic. And finally, I think that America should be more like a fire company at the moment that draws you together that's the most emotional and most intense. And that, is when, that comes when it is time to say goodbye to one of your members. There is no moving or more poignant sight, and I hope never to see it again, than watching company after company after company bring its apparatus, line the street, and stand at attention when one of your own is going to his or her final resting place. The same questions that never get asked in life, never get asked in death. People show up, stand up, and stand tall and proud for those for whom they're saying goodbye. For too many Americans, we only put aside the petty and the divisive and the small things at the final moments of life or when it's too late altogether. How many times have you heard people say, I just wish I'd been a little more respectful or kind to someone when he was alive? Well, thank God that firefighters have a very different ethic. You show respect for each other, love for your country, and service to your cause every single day in every single place. On behalf of all of us who are privileged to serve in the government of this great country at your invitation, let me extend my deepest thanks and deepest appreciation for your great service to our great country. May God bless you, and may we all gather here again next year. Thank you very much.